Hi, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 198. What we have today is this error checking area here in the Formula Auditing tab. So to turn that on, we're going to delete that cell, create ourselves a couple of errors. Just click out here any place and do error checking. And what it will do is Excel will loop through and find the errors in your spreadsheet. It'll tell you, hey, you've got an error in cell B5. If we drag this out of the way, here's B5. It says you're trying to divide by zero, and you can get help on this error. You can see calculation steps, ignore error, ignore error. You can edit it in the formula bar. There's several things you can do. What I want to show you is, well, let, let's start with show calculation steps. What it will do is we'll go to this evaluate formula window, which we'll spend some more time on in a future video. But it will show you, hey, I'm going to take 54,600 which is the value right there, and I'm trying to divide by zero, and so the very next thing you're going to do will give you divide by zero error, and it kind of helps you walk through the calculations. Now, here's a very simple example. 54,600 divided by zero is going to give you a problem. But evaluate formula and show the calculation steps. This helps you if you've got 10 embedded formulas and you've got a bunch of nested stuff that's complicated. We can get through that with show calculation steps. The warning I want to give you is if you do this ignore error, what it will do is it'll say, no problem. And then um, it'll, it'll loop through to the next error and it'll tell you it's complete for the entire sheet. Look at this caution down here. If you do ignore errors and then come back here and do error checking again, it's going to find this error. And if we ignore that, that's all it finds. And if you come back and do it again and do error checking, it'll tell you it's complete for the whole sheet because you've ignored it. And the only way to get it back is to go into. Uh, file or the the uh, start menu that circle if you're in Excel 2007 and options and then if you go into formulas what you can come back here and um, reset these ignored errors this area right here uh, and then once this is yep that's good and reset these error messages are back and if you go through and do tra error checking it will find them what trace error does is if you uh, if you click on any old cell it's going to say, hey, there's no error there. I can't help you. If you click on a cell with an error, trace error will show you some arrows and try to help you figure out, okay, what's wrong with this formula. The last thing I want to show you is you don't have to go through this error checking routine to get the error check. See these little green triangles in the top left corner of this cell and that cell? We'll pick on uh, this one for a minute. You can click that little warning sign with the exclamation point. And it'll show you, hey, there's a divide by zero error here. You can get help. You can trace the error like we did before and say, here's the problem. Whoops, I got a up there. You can ignore the error, but be careful. If you ignore the error, you're going to get a message that says you don't have any errors. And until you go jump all the way back and reset ignored errors, that's not helpful. Be careful with ignored error. I just leave it, you know, leave it there for now if you don't have time to deal with it. And come back later on and get it when you have an error. And then edit in the formula bar will let you come back over here and show you what's going on. What we don't need, what we need to do is not edit the formula. What we need to do is put our 300 back. And now everybody's happy with their new view. So I wanted to show you error checking and trace error. And especially, we just got one more time, this green warning with, when, when you click, it'll show you the type of error. It'll give you some help, show you some calculation steps, and help you get to the bottom of the errors in your spreadsheet. That's what I wanted to show you in Excel video 198. Stay tuned next time. There are some other cool functions in this formula auditing window, a show formulas and a watch window. That and excuse, excuse me, show formulas. This is evaluate formula and a watch window. These three things are what's coming up in the next couple of videos. Thanks for watching.